Hey guys, Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip, as you probably guessed it, is on KDB Command and all the new tools that you probably have access to now. All right, so first thing first, we've already talked about contacts previously. We've talked about deals, or as they're calling it, opportunities. We talked about designs, or as they're calling it, sketch house. Uh, you'll notice there are a lot of names for a lot of different items on here. All right, but I do want to talk about the contacts one more time, and more importantly, how you can actually create groups on there. All right, so one big difference that you're probably seeing on the contacts on here, so let me click on this, then you are currently seeing other inside, sorry, inside other CRMs like eEdge, for instance, is that there's not a, a group feature on here. All right, so even though it doesn't say groups on here, you can actually create one, though. All right, so all you'll need to do in order to create a group, it's pretty simple. All right, you'll click that bulk update option at the top right up here. All right, so if you notice, it's not standard just having the little squares to the left-hand side of all your contacts. But if you click on bulk update on here, all right, then those squares will populate. Let me see if I can refresh it to get it to populate a little bit better for you guys. There we go. All right, when in doubt, refresh. That's the best advice I can give you. All right, so in this case, if I want to actually update anyone on here, then I can just start to click on all these different options of what I want to change out. So if you notice, it's currently listed as tags on here for me. So tags, groups, they'll be very synonymous. So if I click on these four on here, all right, then I can actually go through and I can select all if I want to. I can select page, I can clear all, all right, or under the select action option, I have two options right now. Now I've seen it before where some people have groups. I've got it where it says tags. In this case, they're pretty much identical. So if I click on add tags, all right, then as you can see, add bulk tags. All right, select the tags that you would like to add to the following contacts. All right, so then I can go through and I can add inside whatever tags I want to. All right, so in this case, maybe I want to put inside marketing, for instance. And then as you can see, once I type that inside, it'll come up with add new group marketing. So I'll click on that. Here are the different groups that I currently have created. All right, and I can click save. It'll save it and it'll automatically update this for me. All right, so outside of that, where you can actually just automatically add it on here, you can also go to the top right under your name. All right, so if we click on our name and go to settings, all right, then we have all of our different command settings on here. Nothing too, too crazy right now. All right, so under our settings, you can see all the apps that you've connected, all the contacts you've archived. All right, remember, you have to archive them first before you delete them. All right, all the deal settings, custom tags, and even lead routing now. All right, but on custom tags on here, we can actually view all of our custom tags. All right, and then in this case, if I want to add a tag, I can even click on add tag on here too. All right, and you can even add inside a tag color. So if I want to, I can put inside test, not text, test command tag. All right, and I'll put it as uh, this red color. I'll create a tag on here, and if you see, test command tags automatically added in here. All right, but then we can go through, we can edit the tags, we can delete them as well if we want to. All right, so completely up to you in this case. All right, so I'm going to delete this one so I can go back to the ones I had previously. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up as to how you can add inside custom tags or in theory groups, all right, over inside your settings, all right, or more importantly, under your contact section. So there you go. So that is your K2B command tip for the day.